Hey, good afternoon. How are all of my beautiful Virgo soul family members doing? Hope you're all doing great and amazing today. Uh, welcome to your reading. Uh, my name is Morty. Welcome to Love and Abundance Tarot. Uh, today I thought I would do a tarot reading for the Zodiac sign of Virgo. This will be a mid-September to late-September tarot reading. Uh, so Virgo, we just want to see what the energies look like ahead of you to see if we can better prepare you and equip you on stepping into those energies. In order to maximize your life experience and increase the joy and happiness and the love and abundance in your life. Uh, Virgo, beautiful zodiac sign. Your, your sun sign may be Virgo or perhaps your moon arising is in Virgo. Um, or you may just be checking up on a Virgo or you could just be intuitively guided to be here. Um, either way, I'm very happy to have you here. Excited to be sharing this reading with you today. Uh, Virgo, you're located in the sixth house. And the sixth house is all about work and service, our health, our responsibilities, the man, mundane work that we do and the, those that sometimes work for us. Um, that's what's represented in the sixth house. And Virgo, you're ruled by Mercury, the planet Mercury. Uh, and it's interesting that the zodiac sign of Gemini is also ruled by the planet Mercury. Um, anyways. Yeah, Virgos. Uh, it's a zodiac sign that I'm very familiar with. Uh, both my moon and rising are Taurus. They're earth signs, right? So I resonate well with the, with the zodiac sign, the characteristics and the traits of Virgo. Virgo is very intelligent, very witty and clever. Uh, you typically have a great sense of humor, very practical. You can be very analytical. You guys are thinkers. You're very reliable, right? So. Virgo says they're going to come through, they're, they're going to come through. Anyways, those are just some of the good positive qualities that typically follow the sign uh, of Virgo. They're kind of fun to point out. Um, so Virgo, we want to begin your tarot reading today. Um, by the way, today is September the 3rd, it's Tuesday. The time is 4.18 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Um, we're going to begin your tarot reading by tapping on the Crystal Healing Bowl. And this is just a great time to be able to release ourselves from the outcome of the tarot reading uh, and allow ourselves to step into a space and a place where we're open to receiving and hearing any messages that may be meant for Virgo to hear today. Um, and I just want to mention if, you know, if the messages in today's tarot reading, if they resonate with you and you'd like to get a personal tarot reading, uh, I would love to provide that for you. Uh, there are details on how to go about doing that in the description below. And I also wanted to reach out, just thank everybody for all of the beautiful donations, the beautiful comments, the views, the likes, subscribes, and shares. Um, it's just fun to see the soul family coming together uh, and your donations make an incredible difference for me. Um, this is how I live. So your, your donations really make a difference. So I really do appreciate the contributions that many of you have made towards the channel. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to be able to share this tarot reading. Okay, there we go. By the way, the background music that I'm playing throughout your reading is mindfulness music for positive energy. There's just some good soothing vibes. was great um, I hope it came through clearly on your end I noticed at the end after I pulled away it actually kind of picked up a frequency and a vibration on its own it raised itself which was kind of interesting okay Virgo so I'm doing your tarot reading today with my crystal vision tarot set by Jennifer Galasso uh, the affirmation that I'm going to pull for you right now is um, they're called Magical Spell Cards by Lucy Cavendish. So Virgo, what we want to do is we just want to see what affirmation your guides feel would be best suited for you to hear, taking us into uh, mid to late September. Okay, all right, Virgo. Beautiful affirmation. 
drew the affirmation of fertility. The number 37, which reduces to a 10, which reduces to a 1. 1 represent beginnings, right? new births, possibly for many of you. Uh, let, let all take root, seed and sprout. Let new life be all about. Let all take root, seed and sprout. Let new life be all about. Let all take root, seed and sprout. Let new life be all about. Okay, so Virgo, it's a beautiful affirmation for you uh, going into mid to late September. Um, obviously, there's pregnancy, uh, which may be the case for many of you, and, and if so, congratulations. Um, but fertility, it represents the energy of something new, right? Birthing possibly new ideas. Um, you may be creating something. Anyways, Virgo, it's kind of exciting. Let's see, uh, let's see how this affirmation fits into your tarot reading today. Let's find out what Virgo's creating. Okay, perfect, Virgo. So the opening energy taking us into your tarot reading today is the Knight of Pentacles. Right, so it's representing that Earth sign energy, right? Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Like all night energies, it's an energy that you can count on showing up. Uh, it's the most reliable, right? but this is also the slowest moving. You know, so what I feel kind of right away is as it pertains to this affirmation of fertility, Virgo, of whatever this is that you've been building and you've been creating. Um, I feel like there's stability and there's security, right? Those energies attached to it because that's what this Knight of Pentacles energy comes forward with. Uh, but you may have been, many of you may have been working on this, right, for quite some time. Just had the Magician card right up on top. There he is again. All right, Virgo, tell us more. Tell us more. Okay. Well, this card shot right out. <clears throat> okay, Virgo, coming in next. We have the Four of Pentacles. Uh, the Four of Pentacles, is a, it's actually limiting energy, right? If you look at the figure here in the card, you can see she's clinging to this tree and she's clinging hard to these Four Pentacles. Right? They kind of hold her captive, right? She's unable to move at the risk of one of them slipping. So it represents that energy of things mattering too much in life, right? Um, it could be people, places, or things. Uh, it could be something within us. Um, but hanging on to something too tightly. Right? As we know, there, Virgo, there are no guarantees in life, right? So this, that's why this is a limiting energy. Uh, because when we have, when we've created must-haves, um, the way things must be, right, in life for ourselves, we set ourselves up for disappointment because there are no such things as guarantees, right? So in many ways, we can, Virgo, we can give up our power sometimes to these must-haves that we may have created for ourselves. Okay, Virgo, coming in next. We have the Five of Wands. Uh, so the Five of Wands represents a limiting energy you know, to the extent if you look at the figures here on the card, the lions are fighting, the three men with sticks are fighting, right? So if it's harmony or disharmony, there's disharmony here of some sort. Uh, nobody's really out to hurt the other person, right? But there's a disconnect, could be a disconnect in communication, maybe a complete breakdown in communication. Uh, or it could be a difference of opinions, right? And that kind of debating and arguing back and forth. On the more Virgo, as I as we pull more cards for you.
Okay, Virgo. Two energies here for you. One energy, actually. So showing up at the center of your tarot reading today, we have the Fool card. Right? So showing up at the center of your tarot reading, uh, put some significance and some importance on this energy. Right? So it represents the Fool's energy. So the Fool, this is uh, the beginning of the journey, right? In, the, in terms of the major arcana for the tarot cards. Uh, so there's a newness, right, to this energy. Right? Maybe a newness. It's connected to this, whatever this is that you're creating. Um, it represents the energy of, you know, moving through life uh, without fear and worries and concerns, right? Of allowing those to, to dissipate. This is stepping forward with faith and trust, trusting the universe. Uh, it's also, she, you notice she's standing on the edge of a cliff. It looks like she's, she could fall, uh, but there's a part of her that knows she's not going to fall. She trusts. In fact, if anything, she's caught up in recognizing and noticing and taking in all of the beauty that, that's around her. All right, Virgo, tell us more. Okay, so coming in next, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Right? So the Eight of Pentacles represents a work-related energy. Right? If you look at the figure here on the card, she's sitting at the spin wheel, right? working hard, line everything up, right? practicing her her craft, right? trying to master her skills, become the best at what it is she does. Uh, so anytime this card shows up in a tarot reading, it's really encouraging us to get focused, right? harness our energy on what it is we do. Right? Virgo, I think what it is that many of you are creating. That fool's energy, um, you know, Virgo can be a pretty serious zodiac sign sometimes, uh, but you do have great sense of humor, so you know, it should resonate well with that with that fool's energy. Uh, but that may be a little bit uncomfortable for some of you. And the fool, she's she's not taking life serious at all. Right? Kind of represents that energy of, of not taking things too seriously. And I don't know if I've ever said that with that energy. Okay, Virgo, coming in next, we have the Emperor card. So this represents the energy of Aries. So some of you may have an Aries in your life. Uh, this is a beautiful energy. What the, what the energy represents by itself. Right? This is about, if you look at the Emperor, right? he holds the world that he reigns in the palm of his hand. Right. So this is a trusted energy. Kind of energy that you can count on, right? Could be with an energy within you, Virgo, or an, an energy in your life. Um, he wears the horn of the ram, right? Representing the intelligence, right? You have the eagle flying above him that's holding an orb in his claws, representing his vision, right? He's a visionary, looking ahead, he's planning and preparing, right? Preparing to continue the security and the stability that it represents. That's coming in attached to that work energy. Okay, Virgo, coming in next. And it's coming in attached to the Four of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Swords. Uh, so the Eight of Swords is a limiting energy. Uh, to the extent it represents fear. Right. Fears, worries, concerns. If you look at the figure here in the card, she appears to be bound by these ravens, right? But if you look closely, her binds are pretty loose. She could wiggle herself free, remove her blindfold, and step away from the swords. And what's really standing out for some reason is the fact she's wearing a blindfold, right? Which could represent the energy, Virgo, of, of maybe refusing you know, to see things. It's coming in attached to the Four of Pentacles, which is representing that energy, those energies of those things that are must-haves in life. Right. Makes sense. 
All right, Virgo, tell us more. Okay, so Virgo, coming in next, we have the Hierophant card, uh, representing the energy of Taurus. Right? So some of you may have a Taurus in your life. It's coming in attached to the Five of Wands, you know, and representing that energy of that disconnect and communication. So some of you may be communicating with a Taurus, right? And it could be connected to this Five of Wands energy. Um, what this energy represents by itself is this is a trusted energy, right? Many times encouraging us to trust our own inner feelings, right? To trust our intuition, allowing it to serve us as our guide and our compass. Um, he has the symbols of the various religions on the wall behind him. Uh, the Hierophant doesn't su subscribe to any one specifically. He seeks universal truth. Notice that on his hat, right, you have the keys, the, the keys that are crossed, you know, representing the connection right, between our conscious and our subconscious, his intuition. connection to higher realm. Okay, Virgo, coming in next, and it's coming in attached to the full card, showing up at the center of your tarot reading today, we have the Nine of Wands. So the Nine of Wands, it's interesting. Nine of Wands represents the energy. If you look at the figure here in a card, she's been in battle. And she's chosen to position herself on top of this hill, right? So she's given herself a little bit of a strategic advantage, right? So she's thinking ahead, representing that energy. You now she's just, she's looking out into the future. So I, so I feel I feel like she's looking at the big picture, right? Really focused on the long term. Her companion is the lion, representing power and strength, right? ready to alert her of anything approaching from that direction. All right, Virgo, tell us more. Okay, beautiful. <coughs> Excuse me. Coming in and attached to the Eight of Pentacles, so that that work-related energy of getting focused, harnessing our energy, and becoming masters at what it is we do, right? really striving to become the best. We have the Six of Wands, representing the energy of victory, right? of triumph. Notice the figure here on the card as he holds out his arms, ready and willing to receive this victory, uh, as if maybe it's been hard-earned, right? Maybe something that Virgo, many of you have maybe been working on and spending energy on for quite some time, right? creating this. The two birds flying above him kind of stand out to me as well. Okay, Virgo, so showing up next, and it's coming in attached to the Emperor card, we have the Seven of Cups. Uh, and the Seven of Cups is a beautiful energy, representing the energy of having a lot of choices, right? just like the figure here in this card. She's riding this dragon through the sky. She's being offered all of these cups, but she's not receiving any of them. Uh, it could be because the cup that she wants is down here on the ground. Uh, so that could be encouraging Virgo to for some of you, if you feel like your energies are a little bit scattered, I encourage you to get grounded. Go for a walk at the park, take off your shoes and socks, hug a big tree. But choices, you know, having a lot of choices. And that's attached to, to the Emperor card. Okay, Virgo, coming in next, and is the energy taking us out of your tarot reading today? We have the Devil card, so representing the energy of Capricorn, 
uh, in terms of zodiac by itself what this energy can represent uh, it can represent our ego right fears limitations worries concerns within us um, it can also represent passion right and excitement uh, I need to take a look at your tarot reading here Virgo overall uh, and read it to see exactly what this is representing specifically in your tarot reading um, I'm there now, so I have your cards laid out. So Virgo, give me a moment now to take a look at the cards, and just see the, the spread, and see where the cards are placed in terms of relationship to one another, and see and feel what messages are meant to be shared here for Virgo. So hang on just a few moments while I do this. I just keep the recording going, so enjoy the soothing sounds, the background music for a moment. In fact, I'll move the speaker a little closer. Okay, Virgo, I think I have it here for you. Uh, you guys have a beautiful tarot reading. I'm excited to share it with you. Okay, so the opening affirmation, Virgo, taking us into your tarot reading today is fertility. Let all take root, seed and sprout. Let new life be all about, right? So this is about creating, right? Creating something, beginning. It could be pregnancy for many of you, right? For others, You've been creating and working on, on bringing something new into your life for some time now. Many of you have. We know that because we have the opening en energy as the Knight of Pentacles taking us into your tarot reading, right? representing that energy of security and stability. Right? An energy, Virgo, that you're very well aware of. This is an earth sign energy. You know, slowest moving night, but the most reliable. Right? So coming in, but coming in slowly. Okay, Virgo, coming in next in your tarot reading, we have the Four of Pentacles. Uh, so the Four of Pentacles represents that energy of the must-haves, right, that, that we create for ourselves. What's attached to it is the Eight of Swords, representing that limiting energy of fear, right? Fears, worries, and concerns, right? So there's some rigidity here, right? So if, if these energies are resonating with you, Virgo, Right, where the, you just have some must-haves, where you feel like you're giving up your power to it. You know, recognizing that there's fear attached to that, the fears of the worries and the concerns. Awareness is the first step, right? And then really allowing yourself to just release yourself from these must-haves. And as soon as you do, Virgo, the fear goes away. Janis Joplin and, you know, the, a song that she did, her quote, it just comes to mind. And, you know, it says freedom is just another word for nothing left to lose, right? Nothing left to lose and freedom that follows it. But Virgo, I mean, many times when we're able to release ourselves from these must-haves in our life, ironically, that's when they tend to manifest and show up in our life. It's kind of like a universal lesson there for all of us. Okay, Virgo. So coming in next, we have the Five of Wands, right? And so the Five of Wands, it's a limiting energy, kind of representing a difference of opinions, right? Or a breakdown in communication that's connected to this beginning, right? Whatever this is that you're creating. And Virgo, you're being reminded again to trust yourself, right? With the energy of the Hierophant, 
right? Trusting your own inner feeling, trusting your own sense of judgment. Uh, and you guys are thinkers, right? You have good judgment on things. That's what allows you to overcome this energy, this, this disconnect. So Virgo, energy showing up at the center of your tarot reading today. And so there's some significance and importance on these energies. They're connected to this fertility, whatever this is that you're creating, right? Uh, bringing into this world. You have the energy of a fool, right? So the fool is kind of this carefree, let go of the fears, the worries, and the concerns. But it's balanced out with the Nine of Wands, right? Because the Nine of Wands is still thinking ahead, right? Thinking ahead, aware of this cliff and, and planning and preparing, right, for this cliff ahead of time. Right? So Virgo, kind of fi finding that balanced energy within you of, of letting loose and, and being free, letting go of the fears, the worries, and the concerns, maybe a lot of the analyzing, setting that to the side, but yet responsibly, still being aware and thinking about the long term and aware of the present dangers and the risks that may be, that may lay ahead. But Virgo, you have a great tarot reading here, right? We have the Eight of Pentacles representing that energy of getting focused, right? Really channeling your energy on whatever this is that you're creating. Right? It's a work-related energy. Right? So what's attached to it is the Six of Wands, which is beautiful, right? Showing us the energy of victory and of triumph, right? That's attached to... Virgo, you putting your energy into whatever this is that you're creating, right? Really getting focus, harnessing your energy. The two birds are kind of standing out. Virgo, showing up next in your tarot reading, we have the Emperor card, right? Represented by the energy of Aries. Right? So some of you may have an Aries in your life. But representing you, know, really having your power, right? Maybe getting your power back after you're able to release yourself from this four of pentacles, right? The must-haves. Realizing, Virgo, that in life, there are many choices, right? So we can let go of these must-haves. And that's interesting that I'm just feeling and finding that connection now between these cards and this tarot reading. But that's what it's connected to is, you know, the must-haves, giving up our power, right, to these things that are must-haves, allowing ourselves to release that, right, realizing there are so many choices and options out there. There's abundance everywhere. It's not scarcity, right, allowing you to really get your power back. Virgo, taking us to the energy, steering us out of your tarot reading today, which is the devil card, the card of Capricorn. So you guys may have a Capricorn in your life. Uh, it's an earth type energy. Uh, I feel like the energy here is the reason it's showing up. For some, it could be representing right, the fear and the limitations that could be connected to this four pentacles and the eight of swords, right? Of letting go of the fears and the worries and the concerns. You have Pan in the background here, playing his flute, trying to play a beautiful tune to woo her over here underneath this tree. Right? For many others, I feel like it, it represents passion, right? Like passion and, and excitement. The kind of energies that, Virgo, that ignite you, right? That ignite you on whatever this is that you're creating, right? That you're bringing into this world. Many of you have been working on creating this for quite some time. And it'll be different for each and every one of you. For some, it may be a relationship, love. Uh, for others, it may be a business, work-related energy. Right? For others, hobby or an art. Uh, some type of talent or ability that you have, right? Creating and birthing this. Okay, Virgo. I loved your guys' tarot reading. Um, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to share it with you. I hope that these energies resonated with you. Um, if they did and you'd like a personal reading, uh, I'll look forward to getting an email from you and working on your personal tarot reading. Okay, guys, thank you so much for all the love and the support for giving me this opportunity uh, on this format here on YouTube to be able to put this video out uh, and to make it available. Hopefully being able to connect with each and every one of you and help you in a way uh, 
uh, with the messages that are connected here in this tarot reading. Mid to late September. Looks beautiful for you guys, Virgo. Wishing you the very best. Thanks again.